Hey gang, I realize today that it's the end of July and I haven't done a vlog for the month. And I've been doing so a vlog every month for the last seven or eight months and I figured I, I just want to keep that going. And I know some of the stuff I talk about is pretty random and pointless. Uh, some of it may be interesting, I don't know, but I like to do it and so that's what this is. Um, along with that, I'm going to do a mail call and I haven't done that before either, so today's the first for that. Um, as you may have seen in a previous video, I had some stickers made up and I did some uh, sticker exchanges, I did some giveaways, and I sold some stickers. And those stickers have gone all over the place. Uh, a lot in the U.S., um, several to Europe, uh, France, United Kingdom, Sweden, um, some to Canada, and I think maybe, I don't know if I actually did or not, I know had somebody mentioned something about Australia, and I don't know if I actually sent one to Australia, I just can't remember. Um, but if I did, let me know. No. Um, but what I'm doing is, as I send these stickers out, I send a little note with them, and I ask that the people who get them um, send me a picture of my sticker uh, with a project they're working on or a landmark of their country in the background. So basically, like holding it up, you know, in front of whatever that is. And I may post something of that just to show you. But um, I've gotten some cool responses and there are some that are really cool and I'll, I'll have to show those later on uh, because my plan is I want to do a video of where all these stickers went and the countries they're at and uh, you know projects and different things like that so um, if you got one I ask you you know send me a picture um, anyway so that's just where that's going uh, along with that I'm gonna do this mail call and I wanted to show you some things. Now, I'd gotten this sticker, I don't know how many years ago, uh, from Rudder's Garage. And I haven't really seen or heard much from him. And I checked today, and it turns out uh, he's over in Germany. Or at least the vi last video I saw was from eight months ago. So I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I know from watching the video, I realize there's something going on with him. But um, anyway. Uh, this is pretty cool. He had sent me the sticker, and I always told him, I said, when I get some made up, I'll send you one, and hopefully I can make contact with him and send him one of these. So, anyway, that's Rudders. Uh, this is Buck's Wood Shop. Now, Matt's a pretty cool guy. He uh, obviously does stuff with wood, and he does uh, videos on uh, a lathe or turning bowls and such, and his videos are pretty darn cool. Uh, he does picture-in-picture, and just really fun to watch. Uh, if he makes a mistake, he shows you that mistake and, and different things. And um, anyway, it's really cool to watch. So, you know, check out his, his videos. And some of them aren't, you know, woodworking. Some are uh, just, you know, random family things or, out, you know, looking at trucks and, uh, you know, just different things. So check him out. Pretty cool guy. And then there's Russ from Double R Restorations. Um, this guy's got a really cool shop. I will say that. Um, I'm jealous because his shop looks like it's all closed in and air conditioned, I hope, um, but I'm not sure. But if it is, I'm really jealous because I've been dying out here trying to get stuff done uh, with the temperatures in the 90s and humidity sky high. You know, I can't really do anything without sweating. So anyway, check out Double R Restorations. And then I got this sticker today from uh, VW Restorations. And this is from the United Kingdom. And uh, he sent me a note along with it, and I'll read it here. It says, Hi, Joe. Thanks for the recent giveaway. Here's a few stickers for you. Maybe you could pass a couple on when you when you next send yours out. Enjoying the vids, Ross. This guy's got some cool stuff, too. You might want to check him out. Again, VW Restorations. Um, of course, my sticker has to be front and center. And then this is a sticker exchange. And this is from a buddy of mine. Um, he is in VT-10 Training Squadron Naval Flight Officer Training. And he sent me a sticker and also a patch. And that's pretty cool. And I will say this. I've got one of the coolest pictures with my sticker that you'll ever see. And I'm not going to share that until I get that other video put together. So that's, that's I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing picture. And people have seen it on my uh, uh, my Facebook page, my Joe Daddy's Facebook page, and um, 
along with the other stickers. So anyway, not, not that you can check out any videos from this guy, but really cool. So again, Double R rest, uh, Restorations, check him out. Uh, Rudder's Garage, I mean, check him out. I don't know if he's still doing stuff, but you may, you know, check him out and get some information from previous videos. And, of course, Buck's Wood Shop and uh, VW Restorations. So, anyway, I'm looking forward to... Oh, wait, here's one more thing I forgot to show you. I, I had uh, a follower who, he only lives maybe an hour and a half or two hours away from me, and we did a sticker exchange. Uh, these are from the space shuttle missions and pretty cool you know he, he was involved with that uh, in some way and he, I don't know if I really want to put these on the toolbox because I don't know these are really cool and I, I'd hate to have them permanent um, but anyway I may consider putting them on the toolbox um, what else was there oh yeah Brooklyn Pony I know people have been asking me about part 10 and part 10 is coming you know I'm working on it uh, but what I want to show you with that is this is the front part, uh, basically the A pillars, the kick panel, and the dash from the donor car. Now, um, I think I, uh, I know I've shown in a previous video that the dash was rusted through in the uh, original car. And with this donor car, I got a solid dash. And I actually ended up with two really solid kick panels. And I know some people would say, why don't you just buy new ones? They're cheap. But if I can use an original part, I'm going to use it. They're made better. They're more precise and they look right. So I'm already going to be taking the dash out anyway. So with just a little more effort and I'll save those two panels and integrate them into the uh, other part up there, the framework and the A pillars. So yeah, I'll show you. This is uh, car looks kind of goofy sectioned out floating in space anyway um, beyond that uh, I had some other ideas and I'll just put this out there because I think it's it could be really cool um, I'm thinking about doing some interviews with people now there are people you know around the Atlanta area live in Georgia, maybe in Alabama, um, and I, I communicate with these people, you know, either on Facebook or through email, um, and we, some of us have actually become friends on Facebook, and what I'm thinking of doing, and I think this would be kind of cool, is I want to do go to their place and set up a video camera and do an interview, and what I want to, I want to learn from them why they're building their car or what that car means to them. Uh, I know in in one case it's a, you know a father-son project and I think it's awesome to see his son involved in uh, working on these cars and so anyway I'd like to just put that out there. Um, now again this would be where for the uh, surrounding Atlanta area and like I said eastern part of Alabama uh, and I can you can contact me if you're interested um, you can you can either send me uh, an email to Joe Daddy's garage at gmail.com uh, or you can message me on on YouTube that's fine too um, but I think it would be really interesting to share people's stories you know we now that I, I realize that there are people again I, I, I in my mind recognizes this but the more I'm making contact with people uh, in different places, especially different countries, I'm, I, I guess I really never thought about it, that these cars, Mustangs and you know Camaros and whatever, they were exported. And it never really dawned on me that there would be a, um, a fascination or a demand or anything like we have in the U.S. in other countries. You know, I know cars get built and they get shipped over to different countries, but some of these cars were actually there, you know. They were shipped over there when they were new, and they've been in people's families in different countries. And it just, I guess, you know, you don't really think about these things. But as I'm making contact with people, again, in Europe and in different places, um, I'm realizing that they have a fascination with these cars, too. And it's pretty cool. Now, granted, I'm not going to be able to make it over to Europe to do an interview, uh, but 
it's just my mind is, is thinking about that and how, you know, it's a it's a bigger picture than just my little garage, you know, in Georgia. So uh, anyway, that's enough rambling. Um, if you get a chance and you want, you're interested, just let me know. So I think that's enough for today. Uh, I kind of got off on a little tangent there. Uh, I do have other ideas in mind, and depending on how the interviews go, I'll expand on that later. And uh, you might be interested in that too. So anyway, that's it for today. Um, stay tuned. Part 10's coming. And I'll do another vlog next month, and I'll also make that video with where my stickers went. So, as usual, thanks for watching.